Hey, welcome back YouTube. I've got an order for a crimson or burgundy and gold, a yellow gold for uh, a person to make a Yeti handle. I want it for like a, some kind of Harry Potter theme. So what we have here, <clears throat> it's gonna take 12 feet of cord to make the handle. So I've got six feet of burgundy. I need six feet of gold. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I always throw out a little extra there. Don't want to come up short. Singe that off. Okay, got the two ends here. Y'all hang with me, and I'll show you how to make a keychain, a key fob, on the next video of a multicolor. If you like the videos you've been seeing, if you don't mind, like, share, subscribe. So when you do this, okay, on the first video I showed you this. I didn't show you this on this one. So for a 20 ounce cup, you set your jig at 14 inches. For a 30 ounce cup, it's 15 and a half inches. So there. See, I've got it marked off 14 and 15 and a half. And this is going to be what goes around the actual cup itself. So I'm going to just stretch it to where it meets. Cut it. Two pieces together and push and twist. Roll in your fingers. All right, I'm gonna loosen this up now. There's a five and a half inch mark and there is 11 and a quarter inch mark. You wanna put this right in the center of those two marks. That's where your handle's gonna be and that's gonna hide your, where you spliced it together. Tighten it down. I've got a jig that I made, I showed you in the last video. It's got a 30 ounce size, bottom and top. Bottom and top. You have a 20 ounce size, bottom and top. This is your top. So I'm gonna take this, put it here, put this on here. I'm just lining that up with the end that jig. I'm gonna make some of these jigs and put them on Etsy for sale. I hadn't got around to it yet. On the bottom, put it down here, inside of it. Move your jig over and bottom it out against that bolt and lock it down. <clears throat> Whatever is on the left side is what's gonna be in the middle. So we're gonna have the crimson or the burgundy on the outside. We're gonna have the gold on the middle. You want a little bit over the edge right here, and this is something you're gonna to have to play with because you want this piece right here hidden inside the handle. Right. Play with it to where you get it just about right. The next one's gonna be under, under, through, over through. It says under, under, over, and through. Pull. Cool. There's the 
there you go you've got that splice hidden inside the weave there you've got this coming over right here so that tells you this one's going to be over over under and through pull it tight see how it's coming out right here so that means this one's going to go under under over and through tight make it tight go over over under and through do one more it's coming out like this go under under over and through We'll stop there I'll come back when I get down towards the bottom this is just a basic Cobra weave all right welcome back I'm almost at the end of the first pass When you do this, you want to make sure there's no gap in between this knot and your hemostats. If there is, just pull up. Keep pulling until you got enough room to make another weave right here, another knot. Flip it over. You see on this one, I've got where it comes over top of it. So that means this one's going to go over top, over, under, and through. You want to make sure that these are in the grooves. When you start here, or it's going to throw you off on your second pass of your double cobra. So now I've got it coming out like this. So I'm going to go under, under, over, and through. Over, over, under, and through. Under, under, over, and through. Over, over, under, and through. I'm coming down to the last of it now. This is a jig by Mr. Coop. You don't have to buy this jig from Mr. Coop. It was really expensive, I think. You can just look up some videos on how to make your own jigs. They're fairly simple to make. I wish I'd have made mine instead of buying this thing. Take our hemostats off. Loosen the jig up. Flip it over. This is your front. This is the outside. Flip it over. Take a small pair of hemostats. So you got the V right here. It goes this way and this way. Go under that one. second one. Open it up, put that in there, pull it through. You see where I made the splice? It's hidden. And that gives it more durability and it's not ugly. So now we've got that one like that pull it tight go 
it off the extra. Keep your scissors handy. Fluff that up, we're gonna singe it down. And grab your scissors real quick and push. That melts it all together. See that? This is the outside. This is the inside. The singed part is the top of the inside. This part will go on the top of your Yeti cup. That's it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like the video, you can check out my other videos. Subscribe to my channel. Like, share. And I appreciate you stopping by. Have a great day.